you should try out this official gym member status in my top gym. I look real nice, but this is all I have left of my weights. So I want to do a little tutorial on um, these clay hand painted tiles. Um, those of you who've been following me um, kind of hooked on uh, polymer clay mosaic at the moment. So I'm just going to show you one version of a clay tile that you can make from polymer clay. And this is Sculpey 3. Uh, and it's um, much, much softer and easier to condition. This is conditioning your clay, getting it. I mean, this is very soft though. It came out as a much harder version. It's more for sculpting, but for tiles, this is actually smart, smart. So I'm going to just cut this into like about four tiles. That looks good. And I'm going to pull them off like that. Get them something like this. I'm kind of looking around the canvas here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to change my battery now. I'm going to die. It just turns out every time I go to use it, I, the battery kind of stays in. So um, I've cut these tiles and I'm using, um, you know, I noticed when I uh, looked at my other tiles that I had painted back when I. Um, did these one of the oops I don't know if you can notice but I did use a serrated knife on these because there's little tiny notches in the line so it looks pretty cool but Lori recommends that you use a um, non serrated knife like a kitchen knife and all I could come up with was this like it's like a clam sucker I think um, but uh, something that I mean I think the blade on here is just too sharp and it leaves too narrow of a line. You want something a little bit wider. So I'm going to just take a piece of this clay and make some uh, marks on here, kind of geometric in nature. I'm going to turn the camera over here so it's not in my way. And let's see, I'm going to do... just one little thin line. Oh, that's kind of cool just like that, actually. I'm going to put that up there. Let's see. I can get this out of the way. I like that better. Little thin line. You can put um, uh, stickles on that one, too. And then I do You can just do a um, a long row. And I'm gonna do um, a long row up on this tile. Bye, Mac. Make them go away. Okay, and that's kind of not my speed, but that's what you want to do. Turn everything. I'm a big, I like to be able to turn it so I can work on it the way I want to work on it. So I like this. And then I'm going to put a thin line here on this one. And that's going to be on this black and white stuff. It's just because you, after you bake it, these will have little areas that you can paint. Um, this one I'm just going to do, I'm going to do my little hurricane pattern that I did earlier. I don't know if if the other piece of the tile is going to fall right over on here, so I'm not sure. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so that's four different styles of clay of tiles. And then when you bake that, you'll be able to see them and I'll show you two different um, paint ones. I'm going to paint them do these two. And I'm going to try and do colors that I, I pulled a couple colors that I hadn't used. Um, I like these blues, this Cape Cod 
from this unicorn blue. I think they're wearing Macy together. Um, I did pull this pink instead of this, like a fuchsia. This is real fuchsia. This is more of a wavy color, wild rose. And then I pulled a lilac instead of, I didn't use any pearl, um, purple pearl, which I do love the pink, but we're going to use the Martha Stewart white instead. So I have a water bucket. I'll show you what I have. I have my water bucket here. I have some brushes. I have, these are, these are pretty big brushes. They're, this one I'm going to use for varnish. This is the, oops, that's a messed up brush, but I use that for, um, varnish. I have a couple, mainly flat things that I can, um, make checks with and squares. So I have that. I'm going to drop the pink a little bit to make sure that I can put all the little white things I have put in the tube directly on my, um, craft mat. Um, and that's fine. You can do that, but it, it you know, it's okay. You don't have to clean it off. This is easier. Oh, I'm going to drop the pink pen. This is brand new. I can't believe it. I just got this. Um, I haven't dropped pink in forever. I have so much pink. Let's see how many pins I have for this one. Oh, I don't even know where I dropped the pink. Oh, I dropped it here. Um, and I'm going to show you. You want to do it like more of a rock inside. I don't want it to be a solid color. Because I want these to kind of relax down and light. So I've gone into my water. I always, always put water in my brush so that it's not just um, paint that I'm that I have in the brush. And then that creates a thicker. Um, let's see. I'm gonna show you. Oops. I mean, you could do each of these a different color. You could do. Um, you know what would be cool to do these two triangles one color those two triangles one color and then I'm going to do the three center ones that I have colored so I just use the I use the brush to kind of get in there and if you go on the other section it's okay look I just stuck my finger in it it's hard when you're working around a um, section I'm not worried about the sides because I'm going to put gold on the top. So that's pretty. I kind of like that. It's washy looking, but I'm going to come back with that pearl pink and show you how I feel through that one. What do we want to do on this one? I'm going to do these middle checks on here too. And it's watery. I like it watery. It'll move easier when I water it, when there's water in the paint. Sorry. It's thicker. And it will move easier once it's washy. And it's sheer, it's thinner. So I'm gonna do that. And then this one, <coughs> I'm gonna do these little sections and I'll do the middle different color. I'm just gonna do these three in the end. And they're just really easy. And those, all the lines that we've made with the um, stripes will get filled in with a gold gold paint. So that's what they look like. Kind of sheer. And um, we're going to leave that, let that paint dry and go. I'm going to go add another color. Hmm. What could we use to make this beautiful? Let's see. This is much darker. But again, I'm going to... Um, have water in my brush so it's going to be a, a sheer coat so I don't want it to be opaque yet or at all actually so I'm going to put this here and I'm going to do um, what can I put here I'm going to do this one differently I'm going to put this here this is like one of the darkest colors I've ever done I need to keep my paint dry. I want that fall light color. Yep, I think it's good. I'm going to see what it looks like. And I'm going to do these. Oops, I just splashed it all over. I have to do um, the brushes again with water so it's, there's a little more soap. Let's 
Uh, is this the medium blue that we used, the lighter blue color? I'm going to try a little bit more. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go in here and put a little dark saturated here a little bit. Take this forward and do my stuff. So I'm going to put that white flower down. And I'm going to make a pretty blue flower. And I'm going to do gold on this one. And I'm going to do that one last time. I can put my little dot. see this in the movie so I'm going to put this one in here and then just move on with this oh I kind of don't like it so it's okay do that one I know that's not enough to I like that one so the white flower is just going to go here we'll be able to see the difference in the color of it too. Yeah, we could. I think I'll put the one for it later. I'll wait up. And I don't know. I mean, yeah. Blue flower too. Alright. So we're totally left those dry because the next step is to varnish. Alright, so I'll go away and come back. Okay, so they're dry. The next step is to varnish. So I am using this uh, Decker Art Dancing Art Tradition Satin Varnish Set, which I've had this forever. I wish I could just do this. The fact is, I wish I, it might be in 04. I mean, I could have actually have had this in 04. Let's see. Let's see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just put this out on my craft mat a little bit. I love my plants. I can't tell you how much. I'm using that fuzzy brush that I showed you. The fuzzy, old fuzzy brush that I don't use so much of. And I'm just going to coat each of these one coat, just right on top, not even the sides or anything, just the top to seal the paint. another thing I could share with you. So I have this dragonfly, I have this little bee. I love the bees. I can't wait to see what they look like. And I have this butterfly. But I'm going to do this dragonfly. I have this cool painting. It's called um, Halo Blue Gold. And it's the charred Lanier paint. And it's actually for, um, it's a white body acrylic paint. But I think it's for two tones. Who wants the fabric? I've never used one of those. Anyhow, I am going to take a little brush and I'm going to paint this dragonfly. How this looks. So I'm going to go to here first and get it really um, washy on my mat. I love this color. It goes green, blue, and gold in it. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I love it. Perfect for dragonflies. Pure decker, you know? I love it, love it, love it. Wow. Dragonflies are one of my favorite critters. I'll call them critters. They're insects. Um, I think they're 
I don't know how to make butter. Yes, can you please actually try that now? I know that there is, but look at that. How simple is that? Look at that. I'm going to do another one while I'm letting this dry. Um, I have a couple colors of this Picard tape. I don't even remember why I got it originally. Um, what? What drew me to it? Well, I'm already kind of done. I'll put it in the box on here. Alright, so let's do... Um, is this a Y or a B? It must be a B. I don't have... I know what I can do to... drop at Camille Bradley House because all those signs I have I, I think I have a color that I really want to use for that B but I don't know what I, I mean I have a couple things that I wish I had done for that but and probably by the time um by the time these are dry they will be dry very quick the um what's it called varnish does not take long that's a little thick and I want it dry. Wow, and this is really indented into the clay. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry. That's just simply colors that you guys get. Let's see if I can take a Q-tip and just loop it there. Yep. I want to get it off the, above the clay. Yeah, I think I will. Above the clay. I might just put a little, um, this one's not as indented into the clay. So I think I'm just going to gently, really tiny bit of paint I'm using. Tiny. Because their wings are sheer, obviously, in reality. But it does have it for sheer. But I just love that really gentle. just see their bodies at the same point. See, that's all you need to do. Why do I need this thing? Why do I need to bring it up and put it on? Um, there you go. Wow. Super gorge. I can tell these aren't quite, this one looks dry. This one has like a little, I could see it, but I just touched it. And that doesn't look as two-tone as I kind of hoped. So when I do more, I'll know better to put those two colors together. I was going by one of my old ones. I'll show you. I was going by... Uh, oh, well, these two colors are definitely... They're more um, of a green-blue. I don't know if I can really show you. But I really liked this combination that I saw. And of course, I won't be able to find it in the paint brushes. I'll show you. I think it was this one. Oh, something like this I was going for. And that's like a much, much lighter blue and a darker blue. So that's what I was going for with that. But do you see how I colored them? That's crazy. Like one, two, three, four, five colors down there in the purple flake. So, you know, I mean, you can do, let's see, see, you can't really tell that they're different. You know what, I could just do that black. I think that might be what I do. Watch what I, I'm going to change it up a little bit and just, I don't know if I'm really going to change it, but I'm just going to make that because it, it just doesn't look right. It's not that much of a difference, so I'm going to make it black. And that way, it'll, um, actually, I'll make this black. That's kind of how I think on this one. I love black as just a standout color. A pop. I don't know if I can get that there. So, like I 
but if you get it from the crack or on the other tile, it's okay because you're gonna be putting your gloves on there. So see, that just that just completely changed the look of that. Completely. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just uh, I should have done the the hard one again, but I didn't. Let's figure out the beading here this way. I mean, and maybe. No, I don't want to just, you know what, I could do check, <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that. All right, my batting's broken again. I'm going to go away and make sure those tiles are dry, and then I'll show you the next step on the tile. Okay, they're dry. I've totally changed the look of them now. I just um, put the black checks in there instead of the um, two, two colors of gray. And I even did the front hook instead of the two colors of gray. The hook just fit me better. Um, we painted the dragonflies, and I just added some background coloring. This one looks really cool because it's like, let's see, what do you call it? It's not even really paint. I can't even tell. It's like glossy. Like this blue, I painted. I'll show you the blue. I put the gray that I put down here. And this one's a more watercolory background. All right, but the next thing that we do for the tiles, these tiles, once they're dry, the, um, the varnish, now we can use our metallic paint and it won't, um, we don't have to worry about it running when we varnish. And I don't have a super sandy, but I definitely went on to the black a little bit. I don't just take the cheap look and push it off. And we just run this down these two squares, both of them in the center. And see, I kind of just pull it out here. I don't have too much left over. And I was going to use a silver pen for these. I really think that would have looked cool, but I don't have a metallic silver smaller pen. That will be on my list for next time. Because I am going to edge in the silver pen. Okay, so let's see how I just pull this down. And it's really going down to pieces. You could also do doodles, polka dots, anything you want in the blank spaces. I think I'm just going to use circles or some of the um, scribbles, the metallic scribbles. But um, I'm just going to just show you this step. So that's all I'm going to do for that. Now I have some more of that manure tape, a metallic tape, and this is purple. I'm just going to I shook it up and I'm going to use the pot. And I'm just going to shake it. I don't know why it smells bad. Because, I mean, you could give it some time to dry in between. But I literally just get it on my finger and touch it. And I like it to come up over the lip of the tile as well. So that it kind of gets um, onto the front of the tile. Like, actually, not. Onto the face of the tile. So it kind of gives it a little... Um, do two sides at a time so that you don't make a mess and I'm you know just trying to show you this like so I'm gonna dry them and I'll come back and show you what they look like um, I wanted to do a dragonfly because um, this is really the only paint this will have So I'm going to go away and come back and I will show you what they look like afterwards. Okay, so I painted them all up. Finished them pretty much, but we're going to do our triple step next. I um, wanted to show you, for the sandy, I just like did a little bit of the, um, the geez, I want to say glaze again. Why is glaze? Pearl. Glaze is stuck in my head. Pearl on the side and then just some clarity and blue on it. And that's 
I set was I, I had a goal. I wasn't liking these with the silver as much because I didn't have a silver line pen, but I'm going to get one. Um, but I am going to add silver stamps to these, so that way it'll pull the silver in. Um, on all of the dragonflies, I told you I used this. Oh, I love it. This is a new opinion. It's called Halo Blue Gold because it's like blue and gold and blue. I love it. Um, I'm going to put the blue and uh, purple in the background on these, on the bees too. Painted them just with some yellow, and I did their wings with the um, white pearl. Put a little green in their eyes and the backgrounds with kind of watercolory blue and purple too. Just, just to give it some uh, color. Like this one really looks dark. And that one better. Um, what else? The butterflies. Same thing. Pretty much can't really see, but this has a blue wing. You can't really see it. Um, but they look good. And, and I varnished everything and put the, these, some of them have silver, some have gold um, on the edges. And you could also use a gold leafing pen. I forgot to mention that. I just had the tape, so I figured if, I don't know if it confused it or not. Sometimes my, I think I might be running out of the gold leafing stuff, but these, these dragonflies are the best in the shade. I love them. They are so cool. I really love that. Okay, so I'm just going to take my silver stickle, tip it down a little, make sure it kind of comes to the top. I'm going to put, oh my gosh, I love this blue. I think it's five and a half. I guess that like looks silver, the blue. It's like a silver blue. Take it down a little more. No, oh, it's still on my hand. Hold on. Maybe I have it on the tape. Oh, the tape. Let it ink for a little while. There we go. Let that one come out now. Yep. And I'm just going to put one in the middle of that. And I'm going to go with. put them in the corner there 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 we go and when they dry they really add sparkle like I love these little um that's got gold on it look at this right in the center of the um top it's just a gold cloud of uh stickle uh this one has the clear all over the triangle so I mean I might add a little on one of these bees. Let's see. Let's go through. Shall we um, put a little clear stickle on? You know what? I'm going to do a bee too. I mean, um, a new bee right away before I stick my hand in them. And you know what else I could do. I'm going to put on one of the bees. Let's see. I mean, which one of the bees? Yeah, definitely the bee's wing here. need it and you know what wink with yellow will probably look cool but these have been varnished now so now we're on top of everything this is the final step if you want to do any doodling on your tiles now would be the time if you wanted to because you're not going to pull them off that uh the gel pen isn't going to run because that's what happened when I did it uh, originally, and then I varnished. The varnish pulls the gel pen off. So um, I'm going to do one of these uh, butterflies too. Where did I put him this morning? Yeah, I always need him, but look. That looks super cool. So that I'm going to get into all of them. I have to. I have to. It's too cool. And I'm going to definitely do at least one. I don't like this butterfly seems kind of... Modeled, I want to say, like it's not defined. So I'm just gonna do one of them. And it's if you rub it around, this will kind of spin. You can see through it a lot better. My, all my clear stickles are upside down. They're all running out. Oops, that's not gonna work. Okay, okay, okay. 
Anthony, show me all your obstacles. I'm not putting on my dragon flies for the cape. They are already, it would hide the cape. It wouldn't be the point of having that nice flag. Where are those flags that are already there? Okay, that's a little bit. Very cool. All right, you guys, so hopefully that gives you the confidence to know there's nothing to it. You just hold that one question already on the other one. Are you, let's find out. I'm trying to figure out your, oh Lord. Our title is substantial. Don't know it already. Not really. It's somewhere. It's on my desk somewhere. Anywho, our title. Can't find it. It's a moment. I'm sure you could use phase on anything permanent like that. Um, all right, you guys. So 